efficient as counting because I keep forgetting. You good, Jeremy? Or are you going to pass out? You see, it wouldn't go. It, it only happens to you. <laughs> Mine locks. I know. You got to lock them. Oh, Put them over the top. It. No, you good? Ooh, he's getting it. He's got no shoes on. He's going hardcore, man. Look at him. One minute, go. <laughs> How's it going, rednecks? This is going to be a little bit of a weird video because it's not anything that uh, I've ever done before. But if you've seen my last video, I did a test of 12-volt pumps, air pumps, for uh, truck tires and my buddy seen that video and they didn't think it was good enough so if you look behind me we have four bike pumps right now and these guys right here are all convinced we're going to be able to inflate that tire with those pumps now this has uh, all of a sudden come up i bought two pumps myself but we don't even know what we're going to do exactly all i do know is we are going to be deflating this tire just like the other video down to zero psi hooking up these pumps, and then they're gonna give it their all for 30 second uh, intervals. And I think what we're gonna do is after maybe one minute or two, we're gonna check the uh, temperature of the air or the uh, pump itself and check the tire pressure, and then we're gonna log that all. And I gotta say, I have a feeling this video is gonna be uh, pretty much testing the quality of these pumps and uh, their guy, uh, them guys' endurance. So with that being said, right now we're going to have a roundabout discussion with the four of us and try to figure out what we're going to do as far as uh, time-wise, when we're going to stop. We might go to five minutes and change everything up, but before we get started, <laughs> you guys have anything to say? Carbo load. Carbo load, that's right. We got a uh, pizza. There's a uh, pop in the vehicle there, and we're getting ready. This is going to be stupid, but uh, hilarious, so sit back and enjoy the video. Make sure your hands aren't all like greasy from the pizza, okay? Yeah, okay. I don't want to be slipping off the pump. That's good. That's you think we're gonna fail, so I do. do I think I think I wanna at least do one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minutes, yeah. and after that I don't care after what we that, do. That, at least we're gonna be behind. done by then. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna slow down it. Because if this is gonna take want. a half hour, I'm, I don't know, I might bail out. <laughs> we're calling it all night or we'll set a tent up. <laughs> slow and steady. Well, Rednecks, after uh, discussing what we're going to do, I'm going to take and deflate the tire, and then we're going to check the temperature, which should be ambient air temperature, and then every minute we're going to check the uh, temperature and the pressure of the tire up to five minutes, and then we're going to have another discussion to see if we want to keep going every minute, or if we want to just kind of power it through to 35 PSI, or what we're going to do from there. So, what do you say we uh, get the tire deflated, I'll get my timer set up, and we'll get these guys underway. Shabam. So right now what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to get temperature and while we're at it, I'm actually going to get the hose length of this one right here so we have something to go by because I did a hose length on the uh, other pumps. Two feet, three inches. And then right now our ambient temperature is 86 is the hottest I got so we're going to go with 86. 86 degrees. Our length was 24, 25, 26, 27 inches. All right, guys, here we go. We ready? Ready. So every 20 seconds, they're going to switch out. We're starting with this uh, subject number one, I guess. So here we go. You ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. You got five seconds. Four seconds. Count them down. Two, Two one, one. Three. We're counting down here. Five, five four, four, three. three. Two, one, three. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you could have got another pump there. <laughs> <laughs> 126 is the hottest I got right now. You might not be able to see this on film. I'll get another angle of it later. So 126. We're going to add another line too pumps we're gonna count pumps so let's get temperature right now and here we are at uh, 6.5 psi all right unfortunately only one of the three guys recorded their uh, pumps and he said he did 30 the other two said they got after so I'm gonna take their word for it they did 35 a piece so we got 70 plus his 30 he gives us a hundred pumps we need to all oh, look he just lost the pump there hey. on your mark get set go count your pumps Five, four, three, two, one. 
five, four, three, two, one, switch. Five, four, three, two, one. 151 in, this, in that, I want to feel the cylinder here. 95, so 151 in temp, 13.9. Then what were your pumps? 35, 34. Didn't count. <laughs> Damn it! We're gonna go 35 across the board, which will give us what, 105? 105. 105. Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, we had an early switch out. I don't like it. <laughs> he was on time. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> Look at them pumps, fellas. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. He's slowing down. Wow. He is. Five, like four, three, two, one. So here we go. We're going to check our temps again. Don't seem to be getting any hotter than it was before. I think we were at a maximum almost, 160. Cylinder still about 97, so 160, 20.9. And everybody did about 35 pumps? I was 34. 32. My counting got messed up when that thing we're, started. We're gonna go 100 on that one. So yeah, what was that? So six and a half, I'm not good at math, 13, and then nine. seven. So we're gonna about seven, seven PSI every, six uh, to seven. every minute, so. We'll see if we can make 27 on our next one. So guys, this is actually kind of hilarious. They're not doing too bad. They just got it hooked back up. Here we go for uh, four minutes. On your mark, get set, go. Three, two, one. So while he's pumping, I want to take the opportunity to say that pump, I am surprised is still holding up. She's gotten pretty hot, but let's see what they got. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, check the temp. I'll let uh, Kyle get on her. So you just hold the trigger down, you just pull it down, and you just scan it, and it'll give you your max temp. So go to your go to the front here. Oh, that's that's going to be your max temp is your outlet right there. So like try and get down, yeah, try and get down low. Yep, it's 161. 161. So it's staying about the same. 27.8. Eight, you know, yeah. 27.8. 27.8. Oh, We'll do another uh, 100 pumps. So guys, this is actually kind of interesting. As they pump through, by the time they get to the third guy, which is uh, Jeremy here, he's saying it's binding up. So what they're going to try and do is they're going to switch out the people and see by the end if this thing is getting so hot that they can't actually pump it. So let's see if it's true. Go. Go, switch. They're slower. So right now, we just switched up. And the highest okay. temp is 127. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how hot that thing gets by the end. Two, one. I think it's my Whoa. feet. He's probably struggling too. Yeah. It is. It's so it's the pressure. 130. Well, no, it's not the pressure really. It has to be temp. 130. So at around a 130. Right there. Five, four, three, two. One. Ooh. Oh yeah, I saw it fight you there. It just stops. It, yeah. it, it got all of us on that round. Yeah. Oh. 157 is our temp. 33 even. Holy cow. And then we'll go, they slowed down a bit, we'll do 90 pumps on that one. Yeah, that was a struggle. Yeah. It's freaking crazy. Let's go, let's go see what we got. It is faded pretty bad, but this is the, uh, so this is the Viair 88P, and it got to 35.4. Now this is the 87P, 30.2, and then the uh, Pittsburgh got 30.6. So you guys beat two of the compressors. This is all the way. Shows ya. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a $10 uh, bike compressor will actually beat, what is that? Uh, it's gotta be a 60 or 70, I got it written down here. $74 and a $76 compressor beat by three idiots and a $10 uh, bike compressor. <laughs> Hand pump, not even a compressor. Good job, I did not expect that. I don't think any of us did. Now we gotta see what they wanna do. I think we're gonna keep going till the uh, tire blows up. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go for six minutes now, and what they're gonna try and do is they think it got they got it down to a theory that if you do a slow, is it slow long pumps? Slow and steady. Slow and steady. They're gonna try slow and steady. Their last minute, they got five psi. They're gonna shoot for five psi or more, which will actually put us well over 35 psi altogether. So, let's see what it does. Get set, go. Slow and steady. What would the other term be if this is slow and steady, fast and frustrated? <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Three, two, one. Switch. Three, two, one. Boom. This thing, oh, she got hot. You might have done better. I don't know. Oh. Dude, I got a 172.7. That bottom number is your uh, hottest recorded temp. 172, so we're gonna come over here. That's better. 39.1. Holy crap, so you guys put six pounds in your last minute. I only and look at you, so they, they went from 33 to 39.1, so it's uh, 6.1. Look at our temps, you actually brought that thing up another what, 15? 15 degrees hotter at but the least. the higher the pressure, the higher the temperature though, in theory, right? Yeah, but we weren't seeing that here because you're no, at 161. Go, science. If we go, science right here, science. If we go more, <laughs> I bet you would get hotter. Yeah, slow, uh, so slow and steady pumps works better. All right, guys, well, I haven't done this, but they're saying slow and steady actually uh, was faster. Was it actually smoother too? Did it feel better? Yeah, so, oh, yeah. it was smoother. So they're saying it feels smoother. Having not done this myself, I'm gonna try and I wanna see how bad this actually is. It's not terrible. That's slow you know, and steady yet though. Are that's you, what you want. Are you counting? No. Oh, my strokes? No, I'm not. <laughs> You're trying to get your counter going, so he's been about probably, know, probably 15, 15 seconds. seconds. I was, yeah. Wow, you feel it in your arms. Oh yeah. You can feel it. I was using my legs towards the end even. So you're probably at about 30, 20 to 30 seconds-ish. Near the end. No, you're See, not. See, but now if you go faster, yeah. it will jam. Woo! He's stopping already. That was probably 30, That was probably 30 seconds, seconds yeah. 35 ish. That is good. impressive. That is actually quite the struggle. I will say that is hilarious. And I am shocked it did as good as it did. Well, there we go, Rednecks. All in all, I'm actually quite impressed that we were able to not only beat two compressors, but that that thing actually held up. Being a $10 Harbor Freight, I was not expecting that. And as far as my buddies go, uh, the two of them claimed that it would work, the one was on the border, and uh, I didn't think this was going to work at all. But uh, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and get back to work. Alright guys, you guys ready to uh, try this out? Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Rule 18, got to limber up. Alright. You fucking with me? Uh, no. You should actually limber up as well. It's very important. I don't believe in it. You ever see a lion limber up before it takes down a gazelle? All right, ready this, to do this. This is gonna be serious. <laughs>